Welcome back to the show. Lots going on this weekend. One such event is the Records Fine Arts and Craft Show, which is going to be terrific and, and feature all sorts of artisans from the area. So please welcome joining us from the record today, Simon Dowrick, who is with the record, and Kaz Zvonatize. That's not too far off. I rehearsed it, too. Thanks for being here today. The owner, the creator of Space Girl Design Company. Thanks for being here. Let's start, to, Simon, just by talking about the event at large, sure, what people yeah. can expect. Yeah, it's a great event. The, the event actually has been running for 22 years in this region, but uh, we were approached uh, last year to take over the show, and uh, we're happy to do that. We've tried to bring a lot more new things to the show, such as a kids' craft area. We've got lots of demonstrations. We've got Core Gallery coming on board. They're going to be doing interactive art for kids. Kids can take home watercolor paintings. We've got a magician. We've got lots of really talented Canadian artisans that are coming to the show that make their own products, homegrown talent. Isn't it's going to be nice. good. Where, where is it going to be happening? It's going to be happening at Bingham's. Uh, Saturday it's 10 till 5, and Sunday it's 11 till 5. Okay. So uh, it's perfect uh, for British weather, which I think we're getting this weekend. So, you know, if you're uh, looking for something to do, come down. It's fun for all the family and uh, lots of guilds and demonstrations. So. That's the way to. Uh, did you say lots of girls? Guilds. Oh. Guilds. I thought I was there might be lots, lots of girls. girls. There could be. How does that fit into the craft thing, Cass? What happened with that? Well, there may be. So let's talk about you. You you come along and you decide you're going to design some handbags. Mm -hmm. Then you get out of it for a little while, mm -hmm. and then you get back into it. Tell me how it began for you. Um, I guess I mean I've been sewing since I was very little. Um, I've done a lot of work with community theater and uh, semi-professional theater and costuming. So it's all it's just been a natural progression, I guess, just so designing you were doing and creating. Costumes. You were making costumes for yep, people? That's right. And um, then in 1999, I did an HRDC-sponsored young business startup program for nine months, and I launched my handbag line in 1999. What role does the handbag play in a woman's life? Oh I believe my God. by law you have to own 15. Am At I right? At least. Legally. I believe essential. there's a city ordinance. It's but essential. what role does it play? Because it's like this mysterious thing that men... Sometimes you're asked to hold, but you dare not look inside because you'll vanish. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's supposed to be fun, I think, you know? It's an accessory. It's fun. It, you know, holds all your essential private things, and I private don't know. Private things. That's right. Private things, the mystery. But it's funny because you, you'll, you'll attend a, you know, a black tie event, and, and the woman you're with will have this tiny little purse. You think you couldn't even put a thimble in there. Then all of a sudden you'll, you'll be on vacation keys. and there's this huge beach bag type thing. They're just huge. You've got everything in there. Essentials. You could ask for National Geographic 1973. Boom, she's got it right That's there in the handbag. Do you have with you the first one you ever designed? Um, no. What did it look is, like? Was it pretty plain or did you really go out on a limb and do this something artsy? Is, um, similar to the first one that I did. Very, very simple. Kind of, you know, day bag with a long handle and a front flap. Um, Don't get too close, Simon. You'll vanish. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing these ones for a while, too. These are one, I, uh, this is very nice. That's our best seller. It's called the Celeste. Now, each one of these would be up for a different occasion. Would this be sort of mm -hmm. your uh, everyday heading out? It looks a little formal, it but not be. so much so that you couldn't... It's for, you know, if you're just popping out for a little bit, because it'll hold, you know, your cell phone, your wallet, your keys, your lipstick. You know, just a few things. It's very well, cute. Mom, I'm talking purses on daytime. Uh, now, this one's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. This is the bigger one. This is That's the one right. that I talked about. This is a vacation bag right here. This mm -hmm. has the suntan lotion and everything in it. Yes. You put a liner in them all, too? I do. So you're still making them all yourself? I am. Because yep. you've opened a, a store now, mm -hmm. Kitchener, yep. called? Called Dude. Dude. Yes. Are you just doing handbags right now in Dude? Um, I'm doing handbags, and I'm reworking T-shirts. So I do rework T-shirts for babies, kids, and women. And and the handbags. Right. And I've started doing some diaper bags as well. Is that what, these diaper that's, bags? Well, that's what they were designed as initially, but I've had a lot of women buy them just as a regular purse, regular bag. Well, that's a neat yeah. idea. This thing's huge. It I mean, is. You can carry a lot. You could do your whole luggage in it. Oh, and it buttons on the inside. That's kind of different. Yeah. And I guess the thing that distinguishes it as a diaper bag is there's a change pad inside. Um, it's mm -hmm. all lined with vinyl, so in case anything spills, you can wipe it up. And there's a little side pocket for a bottle or a cell phone. I'm afraid of change, Kaz, but I'm still going to take this out. Or maybe I'm not. It's in there, but there it is. There right it is. There. You can see it. Oh, isn't that a good idea? Even that's a designer. There a you designer go. change pad. Who knew? Isn't it wonderful? Well, I love the different styles you've got, too. These are quite nice, too. That's the clutch. This is the clutch? That's a clutch. Is this what it's called? Yep. The clutch? There's no handle. It's a clutch. It's the transmission. 
And here's the clutch, because there's no handle on it. And if you notice, if ever a woman asks a man to hold the handbag, he will hold it. Mm -hmm. Not by the strap, but like he'll choke it like that. <laughs> this is nice. This is very nice, too, when you put things in there. Look at that. Okay. How many different designs? Um, probably about ten altogether. Do you design them on paper first? How do you, what do you um, do? Or do you just kind of try and experiment with different patterns? I don't know. It's a, you know, sometimes it's a little hit and miss. <laughs> I get an idea in my head. I try to draft it out on paper first to make a pattern for it. Right. And then I do up a sample and try to kind of fix any glitches from that. And did you do the embroidery and everything? Yes. Do you do all the patterning in that too? Yes. Wow. I don't, sorry, someone's waving at me. I don't, oh, wrap it up, he's saying. That's okay. There's always people just flagging me down. <laughs> uh, so just quickly, let's get the details on the show, Simon. Sure. It's at Bingham's in Kitchener, and it's 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday, 11 till 5 on Sunday. We have door prizes. We have jewelry. We have it's all handmade. We have uh, wooden cabinets, all kinds of things. So come down, uh, enjoy the show, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. All right. Thanks. Fabulous. Thank you for sharing your designs today. Thank you. Absolutely. And you know, it's it's not a bad gift idea. It's true. For guys, too. And that it's is a surprising. good price point. So. Go in, have a look to make sure it matches with some of her clothes, and then, you know, or bring nice her with you. That's even a better idea. There you go. I like that. The store's called again? Dude. Dude. At All right. 8 Duke Street. www.therecord.com is the website. Let's have a look at the car of the week.